It is the end of an era for one of the oldest teams in Major League Baseball. The Cleveland Indians announcing today that they will be known as the Cleveland Guardians starting next season. The team had previously announced this would be the last season for the Indians name. We caught up with some local fans and found out what they were thinking. I didn't like it <laughs> when I heard that that's what they were going to be called. I didn't care for it. I kind of get it. It looks like it's written the same way as the Indians were, but it doesn't do much for me. I honestly would rather than keep the Indians because that's all I've known that them as growing up. The Guardian's name comes from a series of Guardian statues on a bridge going from Ohio City, which is a Cleveland neighborhood, out to Progressive Field. We caught up with a former Cleveland pitching coach and player and asked them what, or asked him rather, what the name change means for him. Scott Rudinsky retired from Cleveland in 2001 and then rose up through the ranks to be the team's pitching coach. He described just what it meant to play for the organization. I mean, being part of an organization with the history that that franchise has, you know, dated back to the early 1900s, um, you know, it's obviously a special place to be when you when you look at the history books or the you know the pictures that line the walls in the clubhouse. Um, you know, you you feel like you're part of something that's been around baseball since the beginning. Rudinsky also says the name change does not change the values of the team or the character of the people running the organization.